My name is Sisa Tolas. I'm a smell researcher. I make smells. I try to assimilate smells from reality through chemical components. My name is Christina Agopakis. I'm a synthetic biologist and a microbiologist. Um, I'm really interested in symbiosis and how organisms work together in really interesting communities um, in the soil, on our bodies, and in cheese. We were primarily interested in each other's methodology of working rather than the product as an outcome of it. And uh, by investigating into that specifically, we came up with this project. The project self-made is um, about the body and its microorganism and bacteria. We all know that cheese and body smells are very much associated. Yeah, you said you say you have a smelly feet, you have a cheesy feet, for example. The bacteria is actually very similar. The bacteria that you find in between the toes is actually very similar to the bacteria that makes cheese smell like toes. <laughs> uh, so that intersection really of the smell and the bacteria um, and how really how we as humans interact with bacteria, whether as part of our own bodies or in this kind of relationship that makes this beautiful product of cheese, that was really interesting to us. And so um, that's why we wanted to make our own cheese using bacteria that we collected from the human body to show that connection directly. We live in a world which is sterilized, sanitized, homogenized for your kind of protection. By doing that, we are removing a lot of important information in the case of smell and also purposes. Bacteria are there for a purpose. Not all of them are maybe healthy, but maybe in the end of the day, we remove too many also healthy ones. I like to say that this is cheese uh, not for eating, but for thinking about all of these connections. Absolutely. And for us, the idea behind the portraits um, was a way to highlight the sort of individuality of the yes. microbiome of each person um, and that connection, that very personal connection to odor and smell and bacteria. I wanted bacteria from the mouth and from between the toes. That's where you get the most, a lot of diversity and a lot of cheese specific organisms. Any place on the body that's quite moist and, and uh, you know, any creases and, and where you know, you could hold bacteria, that's where we want to get, that's where you get the most diversity. <laughs>